Last night, I was reading a really old, rare book on cancer from 1929. And the author said that a lot of times, cancers start from moles and warts. So I was like, time to Google what mineral deficiency causes warts and moles. And I found out that moles and warts are a mineral deficiency of potassium. So I thought, aha, I wonder if cancer could be a potassium deficiency. So I googled potassium cancer. I have copied and pasted paragraphs and sentences of relevance from various websites. And I'm reading them to you now. Dr. Gerson believed that the beginning of all degenerative diseases is the loss of potassium ions in the cells and the invasion of sodium ions along with water into the cells. This brings on edema, loss of electrical potentials in the cells, improper enzyme formation, reduced cell oxidation and other cell malfunctions. The building of almost all enzymes by the cells requires potassium as a catalyst. In contrast, sodium inhibits enzyme production. Deficiency were widespread. Only 2 to 10% of the American population obtains the recommended daily amount of potassium each day. This means that at least 90% of the population are deficient in this very essential mineral. The average American eats about half of the required potassium needed for health. Cancer fighter Max Gerson, MD, pioneered a high potassium diet for cancer and other degenerative diseases. His rationale was that potassium leaking out of the cells causes depolarization of the cells and disease. His answer was to replenish potassium in the diet. Dr. Gerson successfully treated cancer patients using metabolic concepts during the late 40s and 50s and authored a book, A Cancer Therapy, Results of 50 Cases. An important element of the system was potassium stroke sodium balance. He found cancer patients potassium deficient, so he provided supplementary potassium. Why potassium is important to your body? It slows down and blocks growth of fibroids and tumours, even cancer. Potassium health benefits are important for overall prostate health, and potassium helps in the fighting of cancer, including prostate cancer. Some argue that a potassium deficiency sets the stage for cancer by altering the pH balance in favour of cancer growth. My father is 80 and is healthy, looks 15 years younger than he is. 15 years ago, he had a cancer in the liver and stomach. He did not do any chemotherapy, not even surgery, because we met a friend here in Italy who told us of this. My father used the ribosium potassium ascorbate to treat the cancer, and in a year, everything disappeared. Potassium-rich foods would generate and activate the white cells within the body. These are the cells that attack and destroy cancer and other illness-related cells. Let me emphasize the importance of the potassium-stroke-sodium ratio. In our research, it was found that increasing the potassium level in the growth media can revert cancer cells to normal cells. And I found this other little bit in a book as well from searching online. It says potassium. Potassium deficiency is associated with low tissue oxidation. Because oxygen is vital for the treatment and prevention of cancer, increased amounts of potassium are associated with decreased cancer risk. The ratio of sodium to potassium is important for the transference of energy and to and from cells. Cancer is associated with a higher rate of intracellular sodium 
and a corresponding low, lower rate of potassium. This is one of the mechanisms for what the Chinese describe as yin deficiency, with a lack of sufficient intercellular fluid because of a corresponding lack of sodium absorption. Having sufficient potassium allows for a proper balance of intracellular potassium and intracellular potassium. Intercellular potassium. Edema is a common indication of potassium deficiency, with swelling of the ankles being a positive sign of low tissue oxidation edema. The cerebellum of the brain is also affected with associated memory loss and poor mental function. Weak bowel peristalsis with associated constipation may also be an indication. Other signs include dry skin, skin eruptions, depression, diminished reflexes, nervousness, insatiable thirst, heart arrhythmias, high cholesterol, insomnia, low blood pressure, muscular fatigue, and weakness. It's quite interesting there, the potassium, and how important it is, and how many are deficient extremely deficient in the Western world of this important mineral and it's important for the heart for the skin for many things and we see in America especially heart disease um, and cancer on the rise so that could be a relation to this potassium deficiency bananas have a lot of potassium in them They're not the, the most um, potassium rich food out there but they're well known for being quite high in potassium so it's interesting that there's studies also I've looked online that bananas can cure cancer and that they promote like cell death in the in the cancer so that's quite interesting and I've also seen um, potassium deficiency linked with acne so it's another skin condition and I've seen people um, cure acne with um, banana pills so again that's probably the potassium inside that as well as the other mi vitamins and minerals so it's quite interesting i'm gonna have to keep researching this further potassium and cancer link a deficiency in potassium leading to cancer it's well worth searching and researching because we're all deficient in potassium so we need to start stocking up on it eat more bananas, eat more um, the avocados, I think it's got high potassium, mushrooms, um, spinach, I think eggs have got potassium in them, um, some fruits, vegetables, salmon I think is quite high for meat and potassium. Right, I hope you enjoyed this short little presentation and have a lovely night.